our ability to prepare individuals even under stressful circumstances um, and being able to stay true to the task and focused uh, all comes down to the training that they've had. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I'm going to as I'm looking, listening and feel, I want to check. The other thing I'm going to start looking for is bullet holes in there. Uh, so today is really exciting day. It's a culmination of our uh, elective for our medical students as well as our PA student in disaster management community preparedness. So it's the first class we've had. Uh, they've gone through nine days of a lot of different lectures, tabletop exercises, some speakers and presentations from national and international leaders. All of my other training has been more in a clinical setting, and this is more teaching you of how to provide care to someone in the field. There were definitely moments where we would have to watch or learn about a scenario that happened in real life that was really sad, but it was just educational for us to see how would we want to maneuver that situation in the future to kind of learn from it, prevent it, and learn how to respond. They're the leaders of what hospital and healthcare is going to be like. And so if they may become a CEO, they may become a chairman of their department. And having this training hopefully will you know, translate to others that they work with and for. It's just a very human endeavor and like getting to know the people and like being able to trust them when there are crisis situations and how important that is. I think that's one of my biggest takeaways. Even if I don't do all the disaster work, I think even any field I do in medicine, just knowing how important relationships are. So there's probably a tiered approach of knowledge that we want uh, not only for healthcare providers but for the general public so that we really understand what it takes uh, across this globe uh, to be able to make a difference when these things happen.